I am Unicron. Uh, here today I do a quick review on KO Transformers uh, Snarl. So it comes with instructions, uh, stickers, everything else to um, put on there. Uh, you've seen these flying around. They're on Timu, eBay, everywhere. Uh, here we got some stickers. Here we have more stickers. Uh, rub symbol. And a decoder for the box. And then of course the G1 instructions. The paper feels similar to original G1s, maybe a little bit thicker stock. Um, they actually look really good. So before having a four display piece, I think it'll be fine. Um, all right, let's see. Oh, his weapons all just kind of in there. Some stickers are applied, so they gave. I guess I'm two sets of stickers. Hmm. So these are in there, these are on there. I'm not sure where these go. We'll have to figure that one out. Let them in out so we can get this guy cut open. Here's some really good plastic. And unfortunately the weapons are just thrown in there. We get three missiles, a sword, a launcher, and a Launcher for the little missiles or rocket launcher. And we go come out of here. So the box pull over on the side. So I've never had a G1 um, small, so it's my first figure. Tail's a little loose. Like I said, this is the Timo. You've seen these around. Um, I bought the whole set for like 120 on um, Timo, so it wasn't a terrible price, but they came out to about $25 each, so not bad. And they've been running these for years, so I'm sure the quality has gone down compared to some of the older ones. Uh, for the most part, it's not terrible. It's so weird that the tail and it just kind of sits on the tail like that. Hmm. I mean, overall, it's a nice looking figure. He has a little bit of a lean to him. I think that might be. Oh, he's got some nice little joints on the legs. Kind of ratchety. Oh, this leg is really ratchety. This one's seems to be eh, not quite as bad. I mean, honestly, I'm not really surprised for the for the quality of it, right? 
I don't know if that's supposed to turn or not. Some of those pop in there. That pops out. These, okay, these fold over. These fold over. Is this supposed to do something? No. See if I can figure this out. Oh, that spins around, I'm guessing. Oh, okay. Oh, that's cool. There's a little fist kind of. It's on a spring. Okay, that's neat. Spring loaded fist. Uh, this will open up. Yes, and that flips down, his head pops up, and there you go, man, that is a super simple uh, transformation. Like I said, it's a KO reissue. This is a little bit floppy. Uh, I'm not sure if this is supposed to peg in somewhere, but, I mean, it'll, it'll look nice displayed on the shelf, so that's really what I got it for. This is super loose. I'll see if I can... Um, tighten it up. This one's not too bad. This one is just worn out and floppy. But I can make some adjustments to this cockpit open. Oh yeah, cockpit opens up. So I'm sure you can see the head sculpt on them. But, I mean, overall, not a bad figure um, for being roughly 25 bucks because I got the whole set. Well, it actually kind of works. I've seen where these don't necessarily work. This one actually works extremely well, so cool. Put it peg in. Ah, it's too big, it doesn't even fit in his hand, so I'm not sure where this is supposed to go. Uh, and that's even his launcher. So this pegs in, maybe. Uh, I'd have to do some work to get him to work properly, but anyway, uh, thanks everyone.